Okay, this week we're going to talk about your identity, not your secret identity, but who are you? I know that sounds like such a simple, basic question, but the fact is, today so many people don't know who they are. And you may think, oh no, sister, I'm not one of those people. I know I'm a girl, or I know I'm a boy. I'm not confused about my identity, but it's more than that. You may not really know who you are in Christ and who God created you to be. And that's why I'm wearing this shirt. It says, created for a purpose. And I just want us to remember, as we look at this study this week, that we were created for a purpose. Ephesians 2.10 says, you are God's masterpiece. I am God's masterpiece. I'm standing in the middle of God's masterpiece, deep in a forest. But today we're going to look at Jacob and Esau. And it's a very famous story. We all know from Genesis 25 and throughout Genesis about two brothers, right? And they may not have seemed like they had a difficulty with knowing their identity, but the one brother, Esau, he was a hunter, and Jacob, he was a cooker. Now, Esau was born first. They were twins, but Esau was barely born first, right? So the birthright was going to him. Now, Jacob felt like that should have come to me. And the mother, encouraged him to deceive the father, trick the brother, steal from the brother, something that wasn't his. And you know what? I, I just want to pause on this and unpack this for a moment. And that is, even though someone else may have something that you wish you had, or you feel like you would do a better job with than them, or you deserve more than they do, you know what? Never underestimate the identity that God gave you and the call that was attached to that. Because just like in Jeremiah, when God was talking to Jeremiah and he said, I knew you when you were in your mother's womb before you were even created. So God knows the end from the beginning, the beginning from the end. So now let's look at Jacob and Esau. Jacob's mom thinks, if I want my Jacob to succeed, he's got to get the birthright. And the birthright definitely, you know, had so much blessing attached to it, not going to discount the birthright. But that wasn't God's plan for Jacob. Okay, so what did Jacob do? He set into course a ripple effect by um, acting like his brother, trying to dress like his brother, put hair, goat's hair on his arm so that he would be hairy like his brother. And he tricked his dad for that birthright. So where did all this come from? Well, it came from comparing, deciding I want something, coveting something your neighbor has. We know the 10th commandment is about not coveting and not just you know our neighbor's wife, but really when we long in our heart and think that's something I wish I had. And, and we're not satisfied. So what does the Bible say about comparisons? Well, let's look. In 2 Corinthians 10, 12, it says, those who measure themselves by themselves or compare themselves with themselves are not wise. So it's foolish. In the Amplified, it actually says they lack wisdom and they act like fools. That's what we see with Jacob. So in this process, of deceiving his brother. Yes, he got a birthright, but then what happened? He had to flee home. So he lost his father, his mother. He broke the relationship with his brother. He goes into hiding. He loses with Uncle Laban, falls in love with his daughter, Rachel. And now guess what happens? The very seed that he sowed and put into action, it comes back around. He wants to marry Rachel and Laban says work seven years. And guess what? Ra Laban deceives Jacob. He gets Leah, the ugly older sister. Sometimes we feel like I was believing God for Rachel and I got the ugly older sister. You know what I'm going to say? Did you put a seed into the ground that has now come back around because you were deceptive, because you tried to be somebody who you are not? God has a plan for you, exactly who you are, exactly where you are. You were created with a purpose, going the second mile. Do not covet what someone else has. Do not think that you are not enough. God made you exactly the way he wanted you. He has given you everything you need for life and godliness and to accomplish everything he ordained you to do. So trust that. Stop looking to your left or your right, comparing yourself with someone else, trying to you know, wear your hair like them, dress like them, be like them. Be who you are. If your identity is anywhere else except as the righteousness of God in Christ, a child of the King, then your, your identity is in the wrong place. And whether or not you knew it, you have identity confusion. <laughs> you need to remember who God says you are. So today, going the second mile, remember who Jesus says you are. You are his masterpiece. You are created for a purpose 
and everything he has planned for you, he already gave you what you need to do it.